Can you see that? I got a present. I got a present and the person who sent me the present wishes to remain anonymous so I am going to respect that. I will as much as I want to say her name. It's from a friend. I um, got this package in the mail and it's filled with all kinds of delicious yumminess. Isn't that pretty? Please don't look at my fingernails. I know I need to do them. <laughs> but at any rate, aren't, isn't that pretty? The colors make me think of my sister. She loves those colors. Well, I love them too. But it just makes me think of her. And it's so, so soft. This is Cozy Alpaca Chunky. It's um, a baby alpaca blend. And I just love it. I love it. It's so soft. It wants to be a hat, I think. I love it. So that was one of the things that was in this box that I got. So I'll show you some of the other things. There were two of these Premier Auroras. And when I see these colors, it makes me think of my backyard in the fall. It's just so pretty. I love nature and I love the colors in nature. And so, um, I'm going to hold up the other skein because they are the same colorway, but um, you can see more of the darker colors in this ball just because of the way it's wound. So, oh, they're beautiful. This is going to be something lovely for fall. I'm not sure what yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Maybe even a set, like a beret and a scarf. I'm not sure. It's so pretty. So this is Premier, which is one of my favorite yarn companies. And the colorway is Woodland. Um, it is 100% acrylic, which is so soft. And how many yards here? It's a four weight yarn. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the Ella Ray is a chunky. I think I did say that, but I'm not sure if it has a number. It's a five, chunky five. So this is a four, a medium four. And 166 yards and there's two of them so loving it so pretty so pretty and last but not least sweet roll there's three of them and how pretty are those colors these colors are so beautiful and I usually love the brights but I do love pastels as well don't get me wrong so pretty. So this is 100% acrylic and each cake has 245 yards. So there's a decent yardage here. And um, it's a medium four weight yarn. And like I said, there are three of them. Three, three of them. Also by Premier. I love Premier. So to my sweet little cookie up north, Thank you so much. I love them. I love them so much and I can't wait to use them. This, I, I don't know what it's going to be yet. I've got ideas. I've got ideas. Shawl maybe? Throw? Mm -hmm. I've got ideas. So I'll let you know that this box came from Aberdeen's Wool Company in Canada. And look at the pretty paper they had in their packaging. Isn't that pretty? I get excited over little things like tissue paper. But that's it. Okay, so I will put those back in the box. Thank you so much, my little cookie. And I will also show you another acquisition that I got. I bought this myself on Saturday. It was the day before Mother's Day and um, my husband said, your favorite yarn shop is closed on Sundays, so should we go on Saturday? And I said, yes, please. And so we did. So I bought two of these cakes. This is called Trendsetter Yarns and it's Firefly. And um, I'm not sure if you can pick up on the sparkle, but there is some sparkle in there. 
Um, the fiber content is 38% polyma polyamide, 21% acrylic, 19% alpaca, 14% polyester, and 8% merino. It's made in Italy. It's very fancy. Oh, I showed you the price. <laughs> it's very fancy. It's um, 50 gram donut cakes. I never know what to call these. Donuts, I call them. They're 165 yards each. So, I thought those were so pretty. Princess Leia. I thought it was very pretty. All different little changes in color there. It's like purples and pinks and even some browns and golds. I love it. So pretty. Got some crazy stuff going on in my hair today, guys. <laughs> Anyway, those are my most recent acquisitions. So I thought I'd do a quick card chat to show you my most recent acquisitions. Now, all I need is to find some more time to use them. Oh, one more month of the crazy busy season at work and then things will slow down a little bit and I won't necessarily have more time when I get home from work but I won't be as tired. So that's kind of like time, right? <laughs> when you have more energy to do stuff. So that'll be good. And it's a nice day here. Um, pretty nice day. The last few days have been uh, washouts, really. It's been very rainy here. The river's actually up and moving pretty quick. And they actually had the park closed yesterday. I don't know why. Maybe the lower parts of the park were flooded. It's possible. The area where I live in is prone to flooding in the lower areas, so wouldn't surprise me. But at any rate, the clouds are thinning. There is a little bit of blue sky up there, and every once in a while the sunshine peeks in, and that's kind of nice. So, getting closer to spring. It's May uh, 11th. <laughs> we should be into spring, well into spring. But it's still uh, only in the 40s and 50s. As you say, I'm still wearing a turtleneck and a jacket, so... And then, boom, in a week or so, it'll be like 80s. And that's okay, too. I'm happy with that. So, All right, I think that's really all I've got for you today. Nothing super exciting. Um, Yarn Hookers, of course, is going to be on Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I believe we're talking about spring things. So that'll be fun. And um, this week we are at Melanie's channel, so you're going to want to tune in at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to hook to the left uh, so that you can be sure to catch the yarn hookers. And um, as always, we're going to have lots of fun. We always do. And I think that's about it for things that are going on. It's been a really busy time um, for me at my house. There are comic books everywhere. Um, I don't know if you saw my last video where I talked about my stepfather's comic book collection, but um, every flat surface in my house has stacks of comic books on it as we go through all of them and catalog them and log them and get them ready for uh, being moved on to the next collector. So, yeah, busy times, busy times, but good. It's always good. Okay, I think that's really it. Um, I'm going to get back to my lunch break here and uh, relax for a few more minutes before I have to head back to work. So I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're looking around you for the beauty that's everywhere. Um, all you have to do is look for it. So have a great day. Bye-bye.